Nine of Wands in reverse. Someone says, screw it. With the world in reverse, okay, yeah. So there is unfinished business between you and the person you're dealing with. But this is definitely someone that you've done. Um, you've done something with this person. Not done something. You've repeated the same cycle with this person over and over again, okay? You're quite fed up. You were holding on to this person for a very long time, okay? You were exhausted, tired, beaten, wounded, okay? But you were still holding on, okay? But now... In the current situation, I see you're just going to leave things unfinished, okay? Because you seem to be repeating the same cycle with this person, okay? It's like a negative cycle. Someone refuses to change, okay? Someone refuses to end um, a cycle, okay? And there's a lot of stagnancy and there's uh, some things just come to a complete halt. With the world here, you could be living in two different parts of the world. It doesn't have to be, okay? But this looks like a uh, long-distance relationship. But someone's definitely fed up and says, screw it. I cannot do this anymore. All right, Gemini, how do you see yourself in this connection? All right, the justice and the emperor here. Looks like you want balance. All right, looks like with the justice here and the emperor here, it looks like you want balance. I think you're standing up for yourself. You're taking control of the situation, all right? Or this is more like regaining control of the situation. With the justice here, I feel uh, this is someone who's getting karmic justice, okay? So I think this is what's on your mind, all right? You want to get a situation back into balance. Maybe something was one-sided here, okay? This is what you want or this is what you give. But with the emperor here, you seem to have put in healthy boundaries out here. And now... Um, I feel you're uh, more in control of the situation, but with the emperor here, I feel you're very dead serious about someone, okay? And with the justice here, I'm getting, uh, you want to make things fair. How does this person see themselves in the connection? How does this person see themselves in the connection? Ace of Wands and the Fool here. All right. Now that you've set healthy boundaries, right, there's someone here coming towards you who wants a brand new beginning with you. Okay, this person could be someone who didn't want to take a risk with you. All right. So I'm getting someone here who you've done something, you know, with uh, this person was someone you know, who didn't want to take a risk. They thought that something was risky. They had trust issues with you. Okay. And that's why things were, this was someone who probably uh, wanted to have fun without commitment. Or this was just a relationship that, that had no label on it. Okay. And someone was constant. You had to push this person you've come a long way with this person okay it's been a long tiring road but you've had to push this person to take things to the next level and they refuse to do it now that you've set your boundaries here okay and with the justice here you think this is what is fair okay and i think you could have cut this person off completely okay this person is coming towards you with that leap of faith okay they want a brand new cycle with you and they want a new start with you all right what all right what action will you take what action will gemini take towards this person Will Gemini take towards this person? Seven of Swords and Nine of Swords. So it clearly looks like to me, Gemini, that there is a lot of feelings that you have for this person, okay? With the Emperor here and Seven of Swords, you're, you're being very deceptive. You're not letting your feelings out, okay? You're trying, you're not showing what you really feel. You're hiding your emotions you're, and you're not expressing yourself, okay? You're trying to get away with this connection. You're trying to keep things under wrap, okay? Something's going on behind the scenes. And so what's going on is with the Nine of Swords here, you're having sleepless nights. You're stressing the shit out, okay? You can't sleep properly. And uh, this is a lot of remorse, regret also on your mind. Could be a lot of could have, should have, would have. Maybe you're regretting that you could have handled things differently, all right? But yeah, you're stressing a lot, but you refuse to show this to the other person here. Tell me what action will this person take towards Gemini? Six of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. All right. Clearly, this person is someone who is wanting to move towards you, okay? If there's, like I'm getting, no communication, I'm getting separation, I'm getting silent treatment, okay? So if you guys haven't been talking, this person is definitely wanting to move towards you with clear communication and with the Queen of Pentacles here. This person is definitely someone who's wanting not only a brand start with you, but they also want to invest in you, okay? They see you as marriage material, someone someone they would want to think long term with, okay? They want to invest into you. They're looking at you as someone very stable, very secure, and they want something um, more traditional with you, okay? So definitely looks like now that you're moving away from this person, you know, 
this is someone who's wanting to come towards you okay they're ready to move away from whatever they were not um uh, what whatever was stopping them and keeping them in an unhealthy cycle now that you've given up this is what this person is wanting to come towards you and do okay there we have the magician here Gemini, you could be dealing with another Gemini, okay? But definitely someone here who's trying to manifest you, okay? They want to manifest a brand new beginning with you and they're super confident that they can make it happen, all right? All right, tell me, um, how do you view them, Gemini? How does Gemini view this person? How does Gemini view this person? Okay. We have the six of cups in reverse, the eight of swords in reverse, and the two of pentacles. Gemini, clearly this person has left a bad taste in your mouth, okay? Something happened between you guys and you're constantly living in the past. You're having a hard time moving on from the bad memories that you've had with this person. You hold a grudge against them, okay? This could be a situation that you've been stuck on to, okay, for a very long time. You literally thought you could never ever get out of this person or never get out of this relationship or this connection, but that was just in your head, right? You finally are releasing yourself from a situation that was very toxic probably with the two of pentacles here i feel that you're now getting balance in your life i don't think you're in two minds about anything but i feel the way you view them okay um <clears throat> This is okay. So this could also be how they, how you view them, right? Six of cups. So you probably view them as someone you know who's holding on to the past, okay? But the two of pentacles here, yeah, I feel you, you view them as someone who's juggling you, okay, with another person or trying to weigh out their pros and cons, okay? But you definitely see them as someone, you know, who's released themselves or you have released yourself from the situation, okay? But six of cups in reverse here, you probably view them as someone, you know, who uh, you don't have the best of memories with. Tell me, how does this person view Gemini? <clears throat> Yeah, they see you with a high priestess and the king of pentacles here. They, they see you as someone who's very focused on their goals, their career, their money. See how with the queen of pentacles, this is how they feel. Okay, this is what they, action they're going to take towards you. They want to offer you something committed finally, okay? Now that you're walking away and you're hell-bent on not showing uh, and revealing your feelings. They're coming towards you, okay? For sure. There is movement here. And this is something where they're forced to move towards you, okay? Because this is the universe probably which is literally uh, guiding them to move towards you again, okay, wanting to offer you something stable, all right? And with the king of pentacles in reverse and the high priestess here, they see you as someone who's just not talking to them. Like I said, silent treatment in the past, right? In the beginning, you are, you know a lot. They see you as someone who's extremely psychic. You probably even could be a tarot reader or someone into the healing business, all right? But they see you as someone very psychic, someone even unattainable to a certain extent, okay? They, they just feel intimidated by you. They cannot match your energies. But they see you as someone who's holding that truth. You know more than you say, okay? A lot is being felt by you, but nothing is being said here, all right? You're not breaking your silence under any circumstances, okay? And with the king of pentacles in reverse here, they see you as someone who is very focused on their money okay very greedy with your energy but you're just not giving into them okay they see you as something very very stubborn and set in your ways that's all happening because you're doing a very good job by hiding your feelings okay you're being deceptive but you are although you're stressing the shit out with the knight of swords here they don't know that because you're doing a good job here all right what's the blockage of the challenge in this relationship The strength here. You're both holding back. What's why is the strength here is the blockage of the challenge? You're both holding back. One of you needs to give up. You're both um page of pentacles and reverse. See, there is lack of investment out here. There's a lot of holding back, withholding, trying to tame the situation. You're both doing this or one of you is doing it more, okay? But there is no investment out here, all right? There could be someone that you're dealing with who's very immature, all right? But uh, it seems to me as to, you know, like you're doing your best, you know, trying to deal with the situation and not giving into this person this time. Maybe you're both doing this because that is the connecting energy here. And there is no communication here, which is why the resistance is too strong, okay? You're not showing your feelings. They're at least coming towards you, okay? So I feel out here, this is you who's holding, trying to tame the situation as much as you can, and you don't want to give in to this person, okay? This is someone who you're very attracted to, okay? 
but um, you're just not giving into the temptation and you're not feeding into this person's temptation anymore because there's a lot of attraction, a lot of passion out here, but this time you're not investing. All right, tell me what is the image it, what is the image it future for this connection? What is the image it future for this connection for Gemini for this week of February 2021? Take it. Queen of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Swords. <clears throat> Gemini, I do feel that there is someone you're coming towards you, okay, wanting to take action. Over the Four of Swords here, I feel that this is you who's going to be quiet. I don't think you're going to respond back to this person when this person comes in towards you. I'm getting two scenarios here, okay, and with the Eight of Pentacles here. There is definitely someone, okay, so now you both withdrawn, okay, but I still see an action. This person's coming towards you, okay, so there is communication. Do expect communication here. I feel this person sees you as someone who is very sexy, you know, very sultry, the badass, okay, and you got your shit together, and they're very attracted towards you, okay, and I think this person wants to work on this relationship with you. Okay, with the Eight of Pentacles. But it's more like they want, they're working. There is someone who's coming in who's wanting to put in the work in themselves in order to work on this relationship. Okay, but with the Four of Swords here, I feel that you're still going to think about it when this person comes comes back towards you. Okay, I don't think you're going to immediately respond to this person. You're, you're just taking a break. Okay, you feel the need to heal from this person. You feel the need to take this break, withdraw from this person here. But regardless, I think with the Eight of Pentacles and Queen of Wands, I feel someone's coming in to put in the work into this relationship. Okay, they are going to take action towards you. Because with the full Ace of Wands, this entire energy is telling me that it's all, they're all coming towards you, okay, Gemini. Whilst you're just like doing you. I think the good part you did here is with the Emperor, you're right. I think this is exactly why it's driving them towards you, okay. You put, you set healthy boundaries out here. You set healthy boundaries out here and with justice here, you think this is the only best thing that you could do and this is what was fair. Okay, because you wanted a balanced relationship. You probably even wanted something very serious, all right? And this person was just not getting the point. Well, guess what? Nothing's over between you guys, okay? It's coming back around and the tables have turned. And coming back and how? All right, Gemini, I hope this reading resonates with you. If it does, do like, share, subscribe. Leave your comments below and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.